Hi guys, today I'm going to show you a really useful tool in Excel which uh, is quite easy and uh, very underutilized um, to drill down to data that is what you're looking for. Okay, so the, the technique is using filters and the way you apply filters is first by selecting the row where your column headers are. Okay, and that would be row two. You can either click on two and select the entire row, or you can highlight the column headers you're interested in. If you have only five like I do, you might want to highlight it, but if you have many, many, many column headings that go beyond the visible screen, you might want to just select the entire row. Okay, so first you select the row, then you go over here to sort and filter, and choose filter. Okay? And as you see, these little drop down arrows were added to each one of my column headers. Okay? Now the way I use these is I can select any combination or any specific member of this column and the table will automatically filter and only show the ones I want. Okay? But before we do anything, let's think of some logical and uh, meaningful uh, criteria to filter on. Okay, so let's say first we want to see only flights that have space available. So we go to status, we deselect all, and we select only space available. Hit OK, and it will only show the flights that have space available and get rid of all the others. Now, as you can see from these row numbers, one, two, four three, five, eight, that the other flights are still there. The other rows are still there. They're just being momentarily hidden so that you can see only what you want to see. If you want to go back to seeing everything, you, s you click the status and select all again. And it'll show you all your flights and we're back to all our rows, okay? So now how about if we want to filter on two different columns? Let's say we only want to see the flights with space available that are also international flights. So we have to use the filter on two separate columns and we'll drill down to exactly what we need. Okay? And to get back, either we can go here and select all and then have to do the same for here to see everything or we can go over here where we originally chose the filter and say, you see how it's highlighted in orange? We can say clear and it'll show, it'll clear all the filters and let everything come through again. All right? And there's all kinds of combinations we can do here. We can choose flights that are full and overbooked and we can see both those simultaneously and so you see there's no flights with space available being presently shown and we can go back to select all same thing for any other filter now when it comes to filters on uh, columns that have numbers there is uh, not it doesn't make that much sense but what you can do is you can do uh, kind of number filters where uh, something is greater than a certain number, less than a certain number, between certain numbers, and top 10, and so on. You can choose from a, from a host of these. So we'll just try one. We'll say flights that have greater than, and you type in seat sold. That's our column that we're uh, filtering on. Seat sold is greater than 200. And then you can add more filters if you like. But here, let's just keep it to one filter. If the seats sold are greater than 200, only show me those. I'll click OK. And you'll see, it only shows the flights that have more than 200 seats sold. OK? And then I can clear that filter by going here, clear filter from seat sold. And we're back to the beginning. Now, once again, we could do for total seats, we can go to number filters and say, less than or equal to perhaps 300 and 
does not equal to, which I don't, I can't come up with a reason for, for choosing these filters, just trying to give a thorough example, does not equal to 90 perhaps. So it won't show these 90s. Let's say OK. So these are all less than or equal to 300 and not equal to 90, right? So I made a, a twofold rule. And I can quickly clear that by clicking Clear Filter for Total Seats. Okay? And you can combine these uh, fil filtering techniques to any number of uh, categories, any number of columns, and drill down to exactly what you need. And uh, sometimes it makes sense to, for example, if you only want overbooked flights and you have to send this in an email, you filter on overbooked flights, you can copy this entire uh, table as it is and then go to a new sheet and let me zoom in and paste. Adjust the column headings simultaneously and now you have yourself only the flights that are overbooked and nothing in between whereas in the original data set there is still the rows in between you haven't gotten rid of them all so you can go back to overbook flights you can also go to clear filter and you'll get them all back okay so I hope this was a thorough review of filtering in Excel both giving you a reason for doing it and also going through some of the, the basic concepts of it for both filtering on text and categories and numbers alright so till next time subscribe to my channel check out all my other Excel videos so, and uh, let me know if there's any other tutorials you'd like me to do in Excel and comment and let me know uh, what you think. Alright, have a great day.